Hey guys, this is Ave Scully. Um, or whatever the fuck my channel's called. But I've got a new video. This is upgrading Cookie Clicker to Unity 5. And um, last time I taught you guys how to program the um the game, but I'm just this time I'm just gonna make it a lot shorter. My videos were so long, and I just I made so many mistakes before. So I'm just gonna. I've already written the script for this one, which I'll just show you what it does. So you've got a high score and a score, and you just click it, and it works, just like normal. And I'll go through how the script works and what each individual thing means. So I'll start off with the start because I'll have this as a huge pack so you guys can download it. But in the GUI, I have um, the cookie, which you guys can have it as whatever picture you want. And I have this custom skin, which is something different that I'll explain later how that works. And then materials, which is just for the, the plane, which is the color at the background, as you can see. And before we use the cube, but I'm using a different thing called a, a GUI or a GUI button, which I prefer to say GUI. I know a lot of people say GUI, but just bring this closer so it looks better. That way everything's nice and close and easy to access. Um, if you see here, I've, what I've done is I've left I've had a I just made a new scene and all I've done is inputted a, a plane and put it in front of the camera as you can see just like that and I've changed the projection from perspective to orth orthographic so it just it's more of a it's like a 2d view rather than a, a field of view if that makes any sense like from a person just um, this means that there is no distance so no matter how far down I put it it's still going to be visible from the camera or how close it's always always straight so there is no there's no distance there's no Z axis in this there's only an X and Y when you have your camera like this and because the cookie clicker game is 2d that's why but... all right so we're gonna go to the script now and I called it HUD which I put it in the scripts folder Just, it's a JavaScript it's called HUD which is basically we have our, our variables like before we have our score, a timer, a max timer, our image of our cookie which we don't actually need, our x and y which I'll explain later and our size x and y which I'll explain again later. Now with the uh, GUI skin before that I showed you I have got a skin variable which is just so that when you go to the when you go to the uh, game you can select this custom custom skin. So if you go on the custom skin, I've got a button which has different different things which allows me to, for example, I can change the hover to a different thing. So when I hover over it, it becomes that that particle. And when I click it, it goes. It can go back to the uh, the cookie. And then you've got. And then you've got an active, which means when you're clicking it. And then you've got a focus, which is means when it's unclicked or when it's in the middle of being clicked. And then normal is just what it is when there's no mouse acting on it. So that's just the what it is. Um, see how the label before we had to do that GUI text before? Well, I've gotten rid of that now and I've used a new system which is in the function on GUI, if you guys ever have heard of about it. It's just letting us have draw, it's basically having a GUI text again, but having it on on the screen. So if I go to my HUD, um, I, these are just variables, which they're just normal variables. They can be called whatever you want, which kind of don't affect us in, in a way, but I'll just start. So. Our timer is set to a float now, which is set to zero because we don't, when we first started up, we don't want our timer to be set to anything at all. It's just, it's just anti-glitch to stop glitches. And then, um, the same as our score, we set it as an int. And on the start function, we set our score to zero. So every time you stop the game, you start it again, your score equals zero. But um, there is a new method that I've done where I've gotten rid of I've got an end game boolean which is around here which allows us to show different things so 
with the end game since I've got it at the start I've got it for false so that I'll show you what this is what it looks like when the end game is true so if I go to my main camera I turn it on it looks like this if I restart so it just basically allows us to have a higher score and it just changes what was originally there and I do this by having an if statement at the start saying if end game equals false then have the on screen GUI label which is just our GUI label is our text that we had before like our score and then the position so screen width divided by 2 take X which X is a coordinate on the screen which allows me to drag this all around which I think was at a hundred so hundred and the same as Y so that allows us to to move it up and down have it as a custom to so make it more customizable for anyone else and then we've got our size X and our size Y which allows us if I go to my main camera allows us to increase the size of the cookie you stretch it if we want which just means we have to have um, different values for the score and the high score if we want to have different um, if we want to have them closer over the cookie or not I'll just stop that so that's just the basis of it so I've got with the high score it's the same basically exactly the same with the score we had high score plus we just had the text equals high score plus high score or same as score it's exactly the same what I, but I have to set it as a string as it's the string is the reason that we can have a um, we can have writing on a on a label because high score and score I think they're both ints yep they're both ints so now this is where the before when I had a timer that's where I got I had a lot of problems with it but it's just a lot simpler now it's just timer take time dot delta time which is time dot delta time means just just taking away a time which I've set to a float because if you don't have a float it just doesn't work don't it just don't know why but it just doesn't work and then it would have done is if timer is less than or equal to zero it ends the game and it goes to this end game function which then just save says end game equals true which stops all this code here and makes this all true and shows the other labels which shows our high score plus it says end game and then we've got a button here which says restart game um, the button works the same way as the uh, what do you call it as the this is um oh geez just my head is the same as the cookie so if you click on the cookie your score is equal to plus one before we had another function called on mouse button down and we had to click on the cube itself but this is just a lot more uh, a lot better as it just prevents from glitches from clicking on the other one you could click on the uh, you could click over here and it would click but you have to actually click the button to say for it to score and we've got um, with our just these are our, just our label for our timer plus the time. It's just all that all this is basically these are all the same, just in different positions. And the high score is just the same as before. But what I've done is I've got a restart button, which takes me back to the start and just enables it. Just when I go to the start, the end game equals false, and then all this starts again. But the high score stays the same. So it's very basic. There's nothing really to it. Just I've got I've just got timer equal to max timer at the start, which allows me to go to my um, go to my game and just whatever you want, just change the timer to 10 seconds or 10 seconds, for example. If I click play, our timer goes down, and I can click try and get as many I score as much as I want. Keep clicking, keep clicking, and then all of a sudden. When the timer stops, oh geez, I kept clicking, but when the timer stops, it will come up with restart game, so just say I stop clicking. Our time will go down, it will say end game, and then it, as you can see, we can restart the game. But with the high score, as you saw before, the, um, the high score changes when I restart the game, but because the score wasn't higher than the high score, so if I can try and get a higher score than before, Alright, you can see now it just changes at the end. 
which I think is a lot better if we have it that way. I don't know. It depends on what people prefer. It might be a little bit more distracting having the high score change as you click, or maybe people prefer it. Um, just if you want to change it, you just see where the function in game is. You just put this. You just copy. I'll just do that now so that I can make it easier for people. And you paste it in the update. But what I'll do is I'll do this. And then I'll just add a little a little comment for you guys. If Alright, so now all if somebody wants that they just get rid of this bit and this bit. But otherwise we'll just leave it. And this will become and then they just get rid of this from the end game, or they can just keep it, doesn't doesn't affect it either way. And when you restart it just works the same way. So um see what I have done, I had a a my cookie texture so you could change it to whatever texture you wanted but that doesn't really affect it anymore as I got rid of it on the where's the button here it is I got rid of it so it doesn't show this texture anymore so actually theoretically I'll get rid of it but what if you want to have a different image where it says the normal image you just change the image here so I'll just prove how easy it is you just have your image in your in the G, uh, GUI or wherever you want in your unity project and you just select it, so for example, I'll just use the knob as it, and then you just change all these unless you want some a custom a custom one. And to change the um, the restart game text, you just change the color. I can make it a, a red or a, a lime green. Alright, so you restart and works like normal. Alright, so that's just this is the basis of how it works it's just simple so thought I'd make these videos a lot quicker by explaining how it works and already have the code so I don't have to go through the code again and again and again and um, hopefully this this helps you guys and uh, I'll see you guys in maybe the next video which I think I am doing the shop if I can remember yeah yeah I'm gonna do a shop around on the corner which I'll just show you again how it's done with the code I'll have each video I'll have a an upload or something like that and I'll upload the a WinRAR or some form of file where you can download the whole thing and you just drag it in if you get lost but I'd prefer if you if you learn if you program this from the video as you end up teaching yourself how it works alright well thanks for your attention and I'll see you in the next one